All right, now, Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamed has rejected the implication that Russia may have been involved in the downing of the MH17 plane over Ukraine in the year 2014. Now, Mahathir has said that he does not think that the findings of an international investigative team are true as it is based on hearsay. We are very unhappy because from the very beginning it, it became a political issue on how to accuse Russia of the wrongdoing. Even before they, that mean they already said Russia. Now they say they have to. So it's very difficult for us to accept that. All right, now the investigation team last year had said that it was convinced that the Buke missile system that was used to shoot down the aircraft came from the Russian Army's 53rd Anti-Aircraft Missile Brigade, based in the Russian city of Kirks. Now, the investigators have charged four people with murder, including a prominent eastern Ukrainian separatist commander. The Mahathir Mohammed has called the move by the Dutch-led investigators to charge three Russians and also a Ukrainian with murder for the 2014 disaster as ridiculous and politically motivated against Moscow. The Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte has slammed his Malaysian counterpart for creating confusion by criticising a decision to charge four people over the downing of the Malaysian Airlines flight MH17. The Rutte had said that the Dutch Foreign Ministry will contact the Malaysian government about Mahathir's comments. All right, now the big decision on Pakistan is likely to be out today as the Financial Action Task Force, the FATF, will be ending its week-long meeting today in Orlando. The FATF will be announcing if Pakistan will continue to remain in the group's grey list or will it find itself in the black list. And remember, having been in the grey list for a year has caused a whopping $10 billion loss to the Pakistani economy. Now, India has, of course, been pushing for Pakistan to be downgraded further. India wants Pakistan to be moved from the grey list to the black list. But this, at this point of time, appears to be a bit unlikely. But Pakistan needs the support of at least about 15 of the FATF's 36 voting members to move out of the grey list. On the other hand, it needs about three votes to prevent getting blacklisted. The FATF had earlier warned Pakistan in its report of Pakistan being in danger of falling into the group's blacklist for terror funding. The group had found that Pakistan did not comply with 18 of its 27 actions that it had listed against terror activities on its soil. FATF had asked Pakistan to do more in order to sweep terror activities and also to act swiftly against the terror groups.